Okay, so we did a survey and everyone agreed that they would rather have our videos shorter and more regular. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna have a separate playlist for the maintenance. So it should be quicker to edit it all. And of course the patrons will always get them in advance of everyone else. So if you wanna become a patron, you just gotta sign up. As deep as the sea No matter how rough Things may come to be You and me We're family Sing home Hey long for the ride home Hey I'll stay by your side home Hey you'll always be Alright by me Yes In the last vlog, while we were assessing the damage on the dinghy and rescuing the outboard, we asked the kids to cook the dinner. But we found this footage of the kids filming themselves after. Disaster strikes. We've just got a massive rip on the side of our dinghy when leaving the dock. I came up and I saw Dad on the dock, like tugging at the dinghy and stuff, Mum driving, going, what's going on? There was screaming, there was shouting. Uh, the boys were getting in the way, like always. It was a disaster. So while Mum and Dad are trying to take out the water, we've got the job of cooking. So we've just been left with some ingredients and we're attempting to make bolognese. Yes, you're not meant to eat onions like there's an apple. It's quite delicious, actually. So the recipe I'm making now is just a bit of chocolate. It's like two big spoonfuls we put in. Carrots and um, marmite, tomato yeah, so sauce. Say, yeah, we don't know if we're meant to put the whole carton, but we just thought, well, everyone likes tomatoes. So how is it going, Chef Dairy? It's now turning into a nice porridge texture. Yes. It's um, orange instead of... <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna try it. It might not be cooked yet, so I wouldn't. Derek, I seriously wouldn't. No. So now Chef Mum has come to inspect our work. What do you think? Um, Mum, can you try this? Yeah, that's good. It's not cooked anywhere near enough yet. I'm a bit worried they're gonna eat raw meat. But, <laughs> I um, told him and that. And it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> but um, other than that, it's really good. Zafnim. Yay! It's working! Rowan's cooking! Yep. He can, he's been burning it so badly. Yeah, I have just got burnt all the way up my arm and my wrist and my hand because I was stirring it too fast, apparently. Yeah, so we finished cooking the bolognese and we are now cooking the spaghetti. Looks tasty. Ah, oh, that's hot! Well, you took it straight from the bowl. <sighs> Is it ready? Mm. Is it ready? Mm -hmm. Seriously, give me half. Doesn't leave me. Typical. No, a tiny bit more. So now mum is here to do the draining and stuff because we don't really want to be burnt again because it hurts. And then we're going to set the table for a romantic dinner. After all that hard work, there it is. This was my one. This one's mum, I finished it. Yeah, we're like halfway through. That is what it looks like. So I guess every cloud has a silver lining and um, yeah we've got a disaster but the kids then they take on more responsibility and it, it was all done in the end and um, you know it just shows that we as a team as a family we can cope and get through anything. Right so we're off on our last hop over to the mainland Spain a little bit more tricky now because we've got to um, hand steer as our autopilot um, broke down. But we'll just do two hour watches. So it's about, you know, eight, ten knots of wind. Nice, calm seas and yeah, it should be quite nice really. Dad needs to hold it. He's... They better be strong. There's like a mini foaming sea over there. 
just to add to everything else, the final straw was on the passage across, we lost the paddle for our stand up paddle board. And because um, it's a really good one, we did spend quite a lot of time looking for it, but we didn't find it. So if you find a nice red fiberglass paddle washed up on a beach, it's probably ours. Spain um, and we're just me and Ewan have just finished baths so we're waiting for Dari to finish. We're at a really nice place it's an awesome city but we can't get there because of the dinghy broken in very clear water and and we lost yeah and we lost the paddle from the paddle board. Tuesday morning I think we should try and get down to here we've got good winds so it's all fine really nine knots is good actually ten knots that's all good. One of our um first stops on the mainland was Javier and uh, we found some free mooring boys that you can pick up which is really quite nice actually especially as underneath we even found an octopus. I saw an octopus so now I'm going to go and show you what it looks like it looks awesome. It's right in the middle of its diner with its eyes poking out. Right I'm going to go down and film it now okay. Okay I'll show you. And I don't think this octopus would have survived if people would put their anchors down, but the, the mooring boys actually protected the home of the octopus. Yeah. That's amazing, Joey. I've got to um, get this rubbish to shore on our little teeny tiny dinghy. This dinghy was something that we weren't sure whether we really needed, but Woody had repaired it back in Left Cass, um, and this is what we used. Rubbish you collect up, isn't it? Really? I mean, that's only a few days of recycling, and that's our waste. Then I went off with the rubbish to find our friends that have moved to Spain recently. Hello, this is Freya, Elsie May. <laughs> I'm really excited to see There's them. Rachel and Darren. Hello. Yeah, so we have met up with them and they're going to come to our boat. They're Hello. coming over to our boat. Yay! Be quiet, otherwise we might hear us. Okay. okay. We're all heading over there to surprise everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got to turn, you've got to turn the other way around. I feel like lightning back now. Oh, oh, turn the other way? Yeah. <laughs> the dinghy actually became an invaluable mode of transport, even with its leak that we still can't find. Here we go. Right. Other way, other way. Never That's it. She's never rode before. Now she okay, so these friends have just recently moved to Spain. They've only been there a few months. It was really special to spend a few days with them. And um, it, yeah, it was nice for both of us, really, all in a different place, meeting up and um, having some fun. Yeah, that's fine. He would not to. Just like a little no. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. Did you know that? So we're getting all our fins on, girls, to go swimming. Oh gosh. Alan's 
going to probably go last. I think when we're wintering, it's going to fall out. Or I can take it here and now then we're heading down the coast of Spain um, down towards Costa del Sol which is where we're going to winter we've got no autopilot so I'm steering with my foot there's not much wind as you can see it's just flat calm but there is some wind coming so part of it we need to shelter for because it's a bit strong but then there's also good wind to sail so we probably need to get some of that wind as well so my amazing six-year-old boy and he is good at steering now. So that's one good thing about losing an autopilot, means that the children have become very good at steering. So he's following, what course are you following, Ewan? 240. On the compass? Yeah, and you're looking ahead as well to make sure there's no boats. 5.0. Is that the speed, 5.0? Brilliant. So living aboard, we try to find various ways of making some income. We experiment with lots of different things. What are you doing? Design work. Design work? Design commission. And what is it you're doing? A film studio. They want um, a rack of monitors. Yes. So I'll make it a scaffold table. So if you want to um, buy some designs and make your own furniture, you can find those on Etsy under the Rat and Palettes account. So on passages, kids are getting pretty good now at finding ways to occupy themselves and keep themselves busy. I am doing a dot dot extreme. It says it Heading down the coast, we found another lovely anchorage. Um, it was very peaceful until a jet skier decided to use it as his racing track. and there's Benidorm. We're about five days from our window mooring in El Miramar. So last night we anchored uh, just off Alicante. I'm gonna say it's not the uh, most attractive anchorage we've ever been at. Yeah, so the coastline down to Spain can get pretty busy. You've got um, the actual coastline and all the tourist hotspots as well as cargo ships and fish farms. It takes us a long time to get anywhere and um, some people I suppose wonder whether we get bored. Well yes we do get bored but boredom can lead to some very creative ideas. I made this catamaran um, so I could play with it and put a mask and stay wet. I was a robot um, and he's drunk and he stole money from this because that's where you get money when you get jobs. They're making it into little atoms so people don't steal them and then all the money what's getting delivered is going across there. This is Tori Eva. I'm not really sure how it's pronounced. It's quite a bit of strong wind coming. We're not sure how strong it'll be, but you can see it building up in the sky. And um, so we're stopping here probably for two nights to shelter, and then we'll carry on. So now let it out, so, that's, so that is loose. A bit more. Right, so as we head down the coast, the weather is getting more lively. To get to shore is becoming more tricky. Dad's coming back with the shopping. You are right there, Woody? Have you got ice bags in your eat, Grab the line or something. I'm sitting on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're looking a bit wet there, Woody. Well done, Rowan. Woo! Good work. Saviour. Shopping delivery. Beef and Yorkshire puddings. <laughs> well, last night my tooth fell out, so I put it on my pillow. And then this morning I checked, I didn't have one, I had two. Oh. 
So when we're in Torre Vieja, we had to get to shore to meet some old friends and we decided that the quickest route across would be the nearest marina pontoon. So we're trying to get to shore so we can meet some people to go and eat with. But because our big dinghy's ripped, Dad came and collected the boys on the white dinghy while me and Mum paddled. It's knackering, last bit. We needed to go on the paddleboard and a dinghy, and then there's a leak in the dinghy. It's all right. The problem was that they didn't want to let us out of the marina until we'd been to the office. We were worried they were going to ask us to move our dinghy to the visitor's pontoon and it'll be too far to get back to our boat. So um, we found other ways of getting through the gate. So that was a bit awkward. Oh my God. So we finally met up with our old friends who live in France, but were sailing in Spain and they drove down to see us. It was really, really good to see them. But we got lollipops. Free. It's a pudding. See you soon. I thought today I wanted to try doing something different. So today I'm doing the engine and like steering and stuff. Well done. So now we're doing like, well, average of 6.5 knots, but going up to 7.9 knots. You know, she's a good steady boat. We're getting tipped over by the waves, but you don't really feel it. You feel fine, you feel safe. And um, yeah, definitely a boat for sailing. The good thing is
we think we might uh, just use this uh, good bit of wind to sail through the night to get to our Miramar. Um, we've got the wind behind us, the swell's quite heavy and it's, uh, we're corkscrewing a bit, but uh, it's the last bit of wind we get before the weekend. So we've uh, goose winged out and we're heading down the Spanish coast and we should be there by about 10 o'clock tomorrow, I think. So uh, it's a bit tricky because we've got the, uh, the order help still broken and so we're having to hand steer all the way. So we're going to switch between two hour watches through the night and uh, we'll catch up on sleep in the morning, I think. just go all the way down 130 miles and do it a day and night because there was good wind. As you know our autopilot doesn't work so that's two hours um, each on watches. You only get two hours sleep and then you steer the whole way so we've got strong arms. So it really does use your muscles. And, um, and I've been learning Spanish as well, listening to the Spanish audiobook. So now we're going to Almerimar which is where we're going to um, staying for the winter to do lots of work on the boat and catch up with things like our website and stuff like that but yeah we're just arriving now the sun's just coming up it's just getting light the boys are woken up having their cup of tea finished mine <laughs> and um yeah we're really excited because we've done it now we've a whole year and um we've gone right across the mediterranean sea and we're right at the other side now and um we need to do some more work. This poor boat needs some love again. I just woke up and we are now in the other side of Spain. To celebrate, we've just sailed across the Mediterranean. It's the last sail! It's like the last supper but the last sail. Yeah. And then we're gonna be moored up. We're gonna try schooling out for a bit, like a school, aren't we? Like a school. A proper school. We're gonna miss this, aren't we, Maren? Yeah. We're gonna miss it. sailing around the meds in the winter really. So after a night passage, we always like to have a good English breakfast and of course Yorkshire tea. So mine, so mine one looks better. And who is this awesome cook? I like it more than you cook. Yeah. This is the morning we're going to go into the Almirama Marina where we're going to winter and today we're also going to look at schools because we're going to be going to a school instead of being homeschooled. So it's important to fill up with diesel so that you don't get um, moisture in it. Last year we didn't do that before we went on the dock because it was all a bit last minute. And um, but this year we're going to fill up right to the top straight away so we don't have to worry about that. One job ticked off the list. So finally on shore we treat ourselves to good old English fish and chips. Wow, what have we got here then? What have we got, we Derek? fish and chips. Fish and chips. With lots of flies. Lots of fries. No flies. Oh, flies. Biting. So we're coming to Leo's restaurant bar. Have traditional Spanish food. Fish and chips, sausage and mash. <laughs> what have you got, Rowan? You got the sausage and mash? Yeah, I miss sausage and mash. Is it nice?
Joes. <laughs> we oh, have no. the power! <laughs> <laughs> Voice exercises. One of our first stops on the mainland was Xabie, which is near Javier. And um, in fact, it's probably the same thing. <laughs> So we, we thought we'd found a quiet cafe where we could get some filming done out of the wind slightly, but I think the guy's opening up his Indian restaurant. So after a passage, especially night one, we always like to... So after a passage, especially a night one, we like to... So finally... Jacob, I got two teeth missing and Dad snapped one out and the other one I fit in with it oh, gone. What? You and me we're family no matter how far away we've grown to be we travel on to unknown destinies but you and me will still be family okay thanks again for watching and um please if you like the video tick the like um make sure you share it and if you haven't subscribed subscribe already and finally a big thanks to our patrons for being part of this adventure and um, if you don't want to become a patron at least watch the adverts it's only pennies but it all helps thanks thank you and if you want to do it do it Stay by your side, oh, hey, you'll always be.